last night. What happened? I did it. That's what you want to know, isn't it? I had things that needed washing, or would you rather I stayed in my dirty clothes? I'd rather you call me. Well, I'm sorry, Phil. I didn't realise you were running things. It's on George Street. What well, happened? I told you. I did it. And what does that mean? What do you think it means? I pulled the trigger. He died. You sure? Yeah. Anyone see a come or go? No. And what about a gun? It's gone. Well, is it safe? <laughs> They'll find the Loch Ness Monster sooner. What does that mean? It means it's at the bottom of the canal. And what about you? Oh, I'm peachy. We don't look it. Would you? No, but you got to keep it together. <laughs> well, like you, phoning Sharon's at five in the morning. Yeah, all right, I ain't proud of that. But for all I knew, you, you, you could have been dead. Dalton could have been on his way round here with a cavalry. And that makes it all right. What did you tell her? Nothing. She thinks I was there all night. Well, is she had a phone? Well, she ain't deaf. I told her it was a mate. And she weren't suspicious or anything? Why should she be? <laughs> because if you want my humble opinion, you've got guilty written all over your face. Yeah? Well, you've got a lot of opinions, but you don't really know the first thing you're talking about. Yeah, well, I know that you don't want to spend the next 20 years in prison. And if I do, it'll be through my mistakes, not yours. There you go. I can't find my wallet. Well, that's not. No, I'm serious. Well, we don't do credit here. Look, just give us a break, will you? It's just a few quid. All right, then, um, if it's the next time you're in. Yeah, I will. Uh What's going on? What's it look like? Oh, right, you've lost something. What is it? My wallet. Well, have you tried the kitchen? Well, it's got to be here somewhere. Well, did you have much in it? Uh, money, driving licence. Well, do you remember when you last had it? I don't know. Well, look, I'll go over and check the club. Maybe you dropped it last night, yeah? Hello? Phil? I've dropped my wallet. I've dropped my wallet at Dalton's place. No take, isn't it? I mean, I've taken the food up. I don't believe it! You dropped it in my car. <laughs> and that's it, is it? That's all it takes for you to spill your guts. It's doing me in, Phil. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, well, you've got... Well, I can't. I've done a terrible thing. What you've done is kill somebody that wanted you dead. Now, don't ever forget that. It ain't that simple. I've known him since I was a kid. Look, he wanted you dead. Now, I was going to do it, remember? And that makes a difference, does it, Phil? I've killed someone. And you can make up all the excuses you like, but it ain't going to change anything. It ain't going to make it go away. First thing in the morning, last thing at night, he's there. He's there, turning round and round in my head. That's it for me now, isn't it? There's no going back, because that's not an option, and, and I can't go forward, because I've just got years and years to this. Listen to me, you feel like this now, yeah? 
But you'll get through this. Take my word for it. Now, you got to think about what's going to happen next. Because we both know that pretty soon all this is going to come out. And how you... How we act, when it does, is going to affect the way people think. You understand what I'm saying? Now, can I rely on you to keep your call, eh? Yeah. Yeah what? Yeah, you can rely on me. I don't want to think you had the winning lottery ticket in that wallet. I don't know what I'm so worked up about. The body of a man who has now been identified as Jack Dalton was found in these woods earlier today by a jogger. Mr Dalton was a local businessman and was well known... It's just got me thinking, that's all. About what happened to Dad. Yeah, well, this isn't about him. I know, but... It just makes me remember. It makes me think about how I felt. Because you try to understand it, but it's too hard. It just doesn't make any sense. There are always reasons, Sharon, stuff you don't know about. But how can someone do that? How can someone just gun a person down like that? I don't know. But you don't know what you might have done to deserve it. What, you're saying Dad deserved it? No, I'm not talking about Dan. I'm, I'm just saying that if you live that kind of life, you know, it's dangerous. Anything can happen. Yeah, and that makes it OK. Oh, no, of course not. Look, can we talk about something no, else? No, I don't care what my dad did or didn't do. He didn't deserve to die like that, and no one had the right to kill him like that. I hope they get whoever shot Jack Dalton. They should lock him up and throw away the key. Check the dustbin. It was very light. Yeah, just as I thought. There are more important things in life than rubbish, Sharon. You all right? Yeah, I'm just tired. Too many late nights. I've hardly seen you recently. You've seen me when it matters. What'd you say? Uh, have you seen Phil? Uh, no. You know he got pulled in yesterday. What for? Oh, not Jack Dalton. If a cat goes missing, the first person they talk to is Phil. Well, you don't think he did it? Phil? He's a lot of things, but he's not a murderer. How can you be so sure? Murder, Dennis. He wouldn't be able to live with himself. I'd spot it straight away. But that's the law for you. You can reform all you like. But once they've got you marked, they'll always come knocking at your door. agreed to keep away from each other. I saw you being taken in yesterday. And? Well, what did you say? What do you think I said? Nothing. I went out. I can't stand it anymore. Look, it's all right. I ain't been eating, I ain't sleeping. It's just a matter of time before someone rumbles it. Keep your voice down, will you? And a cake's upstairs. I try and sleep, but when I close my eyes, it just keeps coming back. You'll get better. How do you know that? You ain't spat someone's guts all over the woods. Look, what's the matter with you? Get a grip, will you? I feel like it's hanging over me. You've got nothing to worry about. Now tell me what you did with everything. We've been through this. Well, tell me again. Washed the clothes, dumped the gun, cleaned everything. And what about the tape? The security tape from the club? You got rid of it, didn't you? Yeah, of course. Why? Well, you got nothing to worry about. Now, the best thing you can do is get out of here, get some kip, and calm down. And do me a favour. Don't come back. Looking for this? Found it when I was cleaning. Stuff right at the back it was. Give me it here. Tell me what it is first. It's nothing. I was going to get rid of it. Oh, what are you boys like, eh? Tom had a secret stash at the bottom of the wardrobe. No, 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 you got the wrong end of the stick. Just give me... Oh, a... bless, he's all embarrassed. I'm very hard to shock, you know. Sharon, I'm not messing around. What's he hiding, I wonder? Steady, I was only having a laugh. We're in the mood for your jokes right now. What is wrong with in you? Future, just leave my stuff alone, all right?
got a minute. What do you want? We're holding a memorial service for Jack on Sunday. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you know, we're doing it for his old mum, really. Have you met her? Doreen? Dole, they call her. Well, the coroner won't release the body, so the poor cow can't bury him yet. I mean, he weren't bad enough someone blew a hole in him. Now they want to cut him up a few more times. Hey, look. I know things were, uh, well, difficult between the two of you, but now I think bygones should be bygones. If you say so. You were lucky. Huh? You got your 20 grand, didn't you? Just before he got done and all. What are you getting at? Nothing. Shower around. I need a word. No. Go away. Anyway, I'll leave the ball in your court re Sunday. We'll all be there. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I had a visit from the filth earlier. Usual suspect, so expect a knock. Tony's in there at the moment. Tony? Yeah, yeah, he was going to give us a call when he got out. He's been in there for, ooh, ages now. Let's hope he ain't telling tales, eh? Stay lucky, pal. Been acting strange this morning. I don't suppose you know what's going on. No, no, why would I? Well, I saw him come over. Oh, yeah, he, uh, I lent him 20 quid. He was bringing it back. You were lending him money? When did you two become best buddies? Well, we ain't. It's... Hiya, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some answers from your boyfriend. Uh... What? He's not my boyfriend anymore. We're getting married. Dennis Ringman. DCI Marsden, DS Clark, Walford Police. We'd like to ask you some questions regarding the murder of Jack Dalton. We were going to tell people later, weren't we? Well, when did all this happen? Last night, after our prize night away from Marsden. Well, I don't know what to say. Do you want me to, to leave you two? No, no. You don't want me interrupting you. Well done. Thanks. You're right. Come here, you. You make it work, Mitchell. I will. Oops. What's wrong? They've taken Dennis in. 